So I'm going to install this uh, universal ice maker kit that's intended for PEX pipe. It's Eastman, kit number 0788161, and it's meant for 5 8 inch outside diameter PEX pipe, which is, I believe it's actually referred to as half inch PEX pipe. I'm assuming half inch is inside diameter of this stuff. It's about the diameter of, uh, uh, I don't know, your pointer finger or something. I, I'm, I'm used to dealing with copper line, and I can sweat pipe a little bit, and this is the first time I've ever touched anything with PEX. And here in our own house, we've redone the whole house, and the plumbers used installed PEX because uh, it's up to code in our area. And it saves them a lot of time, and plumbers are expensive, so a lot of them use this stuff now to to reduce uh, reduce costs for both the customer and themselves. Anyway, uh, if you guys see that I'm doing something wrong, please post it down in the comments, and this will help everybody do a better job. I'm a novice at this, and uh, we're just going to do the best we can, and uh, we'll see if it works. <laughs> If it doesn't work, I'm not posting this anyway. So anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is shut your water supply line off to the house so you don't make a big mess. They make a, uh, a PEX tubing cutter that uh, looks like a pair of pruning shears. I don't have anything like that, but I have a normal tubing cutter for copper pipe. So first thing I'm going to do is cut the pipe using my tubing cutter. You want to make sure, I don't know if you can see on camera, but I can see just a little line. I can feel it with my fingernail there too. Uh, you want to make sure your tubing cutter is tracking straight because if you get an old tubing cutter that the uh, cutter is a little loose. Uh, it's not cutting the same way around. It'll just slowly work its way up or down. But what you do, I'm guessing with this PEX pipe, you don't want to put too much pressure on it uh, by tightening it. But you'll make a couple passes, tighten it a little bit more, make a couple more passes. Just visually make sure it's still tracking straight around the pipe. And, you know, you'll make 100,000 turns around this thing and eventually cut its way through. You want it to be nice and clean. So just take your time. You're only doing one of these if you're a homeowner. You don't have to do this stuff all day, so you don't have to get too aggressive with it. Then you'll have a nice clean cut when you're done. So I guess I should say here, too, that tubing cutter, it almost looked like it was smashing it. didn't really feel like it was cutting its way through, but it, it did eventually cut. I would imagine if you had a, a newer tubing cutter, the nice, fresh, sharp wheel on it, probably would have cut a little faster. I uh, understand that you can use... I understand that you can use um, uh, just a sharp razor blade in a pinch but that's less than ideal and uh i don't know if i mentioned this earlier but my uh refrigerator gets backed into a little cubby and on the opposite side of that is my shower and so this this is my hot water line this is my cold water line uh so we're tapping into the cold water line on the shower to run the ice maker and we purposely left this uh, unfinished here because I knew we I, I don't like the idea of walling in uh, water lines if uh, we don't have to and the refrigerator is going to cover this we'll cover the top of this uh, area with either a cabinet or just a white panel that looks like a wall that we can uh, drill in or heck we might even just drywall the top part but anyway that's the type of area I'm working in you're probably working in less ideal conditions than this, and that stinks. But uh, anyway, that's where we're at. We're ready to start installing the valve here. 
Now the directions say to remove half an inch out of this length so according to the directions I would you know go a half inch this way or half inch that way remove that section out to put this T fitting in. I've got a lot of slop here it goes into my crawl space uh, I don't have to worry about taking out that half inch but before we install before we install this uh, fitting it says to measure up one and a half inches from each end mark it and that's the depth uh, at which you're going to insert it into this PEX pipe so it's inserted to the correct depth in the fitting So I've got my line marks. I'm going to feed this to that. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. I've left the whole fitting together. I'm going to feed that into my pipe here. Take that back. Be a little careful. There's a lot of little seals and whatnot in here. Don't lose all that stuff. Two seals inside that. One O-ring, one flat washer. I'm going to feed this guy into my tubing. And then I've got my one half inch or one and one half inch line there. And we should be able to get that fed all the way up, I reckon. I don't know, we're pretty close. Let's see what's going on here. Doesn't go any deeper on this end. We're close enough, I reckon. Oh, sorry, my camera's bouncing here. Okay, so this part's done. I got everything wrenched down tight with my hands. It says specifically not to use a wrench. I'm going to close this valve, turn the water back on, and hopefully I didn't make a mess of things. So, be back in a sec. All right, looks like we're good. Uh, water's back on. This valve here is shut. Uh, now we install the ice maker line itself. So, I marked that inch and a half on this both of these blue lines. I also marked it on this gray one. I don't think it's going to push into that quite that depth. I marked it anyway. We'll see how that one goes. I noticed on this one, there's no little, I think, uh, fudge. There's no little, like, uh, ferrule thing that goes on the inside. I think that's called a ferrule when they're, it's got the little dealy that goes on the inside to, uh, support the tube uh, while things are compressed around it uh, that's not on this side so let's just see how this one goes yeah that went to more like three quarters of an inch directions on the package aren't particularly great also this top one I apologize if I just said this uh, I've kind of forgotten where I am but also on this top one it didn't quite get to an inch and a half either. That's as far as that's going to go. Now I hand tighten it down. I loosened it up for a little before I put it in. Hands are a little slippery from some water that got past. Let's get this on here. Alright, that feels nice and tight now. And then we'll go to the refrigerator side. So we're here on the refrigerator side, uh, brand new fridge, so still got this cap on it, take that cap off. This cardboard was like flush with the outside, I had to knock it out, I actually cut the little notches all the way around so it'd break out nice. I can't get my finger in there to pull it out, so we're just going to push it out of the way. Uh, this will be the fitting that goes on the other end of the tube. 
can't do this one handed. The other end of that quarter inch line we just worked on. There's an extra union in this kit. We'll grab it. Uh, extra union. Uh, that would be like for attaching two quarter inch lines together. We don't need it. I, I guess they throw that in there in case somebody already has some existing stuff here in their fridge and they can just tap right into the line that's already there. Don't know, but we don't need that. Extra parts. So there's no nut to tighten uh, on this side this time. You can cut this quarter inch line to whatever length you need. The kit has a 15 foot line. I just push this here till it bottoms out. It's in there nice and tight now. Uh, you can cut that line to whatever length you need. I've got nice, damn, I keep bumping my mouth. So I've got nice space in here for all this coil. I'll show you the coil, 15 foot coil. For all this coil to go into, so I'm not going to trim it back too much. I kind of like having the extra line since I have room to uh, tuck it into. So let's just go right now to the refrigerator side. Sorry for those of you that get dizzy. Yeah, can't do this one handed. So we'll just tighten that down there. I'll probably it doesn't say not to use a wrench on this side. I'll just gently wrench this down. It has a O-ring to get things sealed up. And then we'll turn all the water back on and I'll get back to you after I've attached that guy. Okay, so remember with the main water's already on, and I'm just gonna crack this valve here for our fridge. No water leaks so far. Here's what my little corner looks like. I haven't showed you that yet. Back of the shower here in the bathroom. And let's turn our ice maker on and see what happens. I hear something. Oh, here, there's a little movement there. I don't know if you can see those little arms coming down. Uh, that's it. I'm going to leave the fridge out so I can check it for leaks. We won't pack it all in there yet because I don't trust my work. And uh, it's all little plastic lines. The, the biggest frustration I had with this, and it really wasn't a big deal, was getting this the threading of these started. I don't know if on this top one, the one closer to the valve, you can see this isn't symmetrical. The one on this top side, that uh, this PEX pipe didn't go the whole one and a half inch in, and I, honestly I think it was too deep trying to set it at one and a half inches and wasn't allowing me to pull down to thread this top in. So anyway, that was the most frustrating thing, I had to pull it out a little bit readjust this thing uh, to get this to actually thread on to the T-valve. Other than that, really simple job. First time I've ever done it, so can't be too bad if some idiot like me can do this. Please uh, subscribe to my videos uh, if you don't mind having another subscription in there. I'm going to have my hours to get monetized on YouTube. Uh, I just make these videos to... Uh, help people out uh, not to make money but I can be monetized if I get the thousand subscriptions that are required to my channel because my hours are gonna be there so anytime soon so no big deal if it's no big deal for you to subscribe please throw a pity subscription in there and never look at my videos again for all I care thanks a lot